Hello everyone. Welcome back to Lead Coding. On this channel, we discuss problems which are frequently asked in programming interviews and we discuss the step-by-step -step solution to those problems. Also, we talk about the space and the time complexity. So, let us start with today's problem. The problem is minimum difference between the largest and the smallest value in three moves. Let us see what the problem statement is. So, we are given an array nums. We are allowed to choose one element of nums and change it by any value in one move. Return the minimum difference the largest between the smallest and the largest value of nums after performing at most three moves. So we can make at most three moves and one move will consist of picking up a value and then replacing that number by any value. So doing this we have to make sure that we can get the difference between the largest and the smallest as minimum as possible. In the very first example, we can pick up the number 5, 3 and 4 and we can convert them to 2. And then the difference between the smallest and the largest will be 0 because both the smallest and the largest number will be 2 itself. In the next example, we picked up the number 5 10 and 14 and then converted it to 1. Now the largest number that will present in this array will be 1 and the smallest will be 0 hence the difference is 1. So this is what we are supposed to do. Let us see how we can do this. Now we are considering this example. First of all the largest difference is always between the smallest and the largest that we already know. So we can try sorting this. So if we sort this, we will get 1, 5, 6, 13, 14 and 15. So this is the array that we obtain if we sort the given array. Now the largest difference will be between this particular element and this particular element. So if we somehow reduce the difference between them, we will be eventually coming closer to our answer. We can make three moves. So if we make the largest element equal to the smallest element, the difference between them will be zero. And next, the largest difference now that will be present inside this array will be of this element and this element. So we can make three such moves. So my first choice will be to pick the three elements from the end and then make them equal to the first element. So doing this, I will make sure that the difference between the largest and the smallest value is minimized. So this is my first option. If I do such a move, the answer that I will be getting is the element which will be present at array 0 this and the array which is present at index n minus 3 n minus 4 that is this index this index sorry because these three now they will be equal to 1 1 and 1 and now the largest element will be 6 and the smallest will still be 1 so the difference between n minus fourth element and the first element so this is my first option now there's something else that I can do so that is to convert these two elements so I will make them equal I will make the smallest element equal to 5 and then I will be left with two moves in those two moves I will try to convert the last two element equal to 5 as well now the difference will be between the smallest element that is 5 and the largest element that is 13 so in this case the this is my second option and in this case the answer will be n minus 3 minus a of 1 so this will be my largest element and this will be my smallest element 
this is the second option in the first option what I was getting I was getting 6 minus 5 actually I was getting 6 minus a of 0 that is 1 that is 5 6 minus 1 5 in the second option I am getting 13 minus 5 that is 8 now let us see what what other options do we have now so we, what we can do we can try to make the first two element equal to the third element and then we will consume two moves use, uh, doing this and then we will be left with one move we will try to convert the last element equals to 6 as well so now the smallest element will be 6 and the largest element will be at the position n minus 2 that is 14 so 14 minus 6 is 8 so this is the third option that we have it is equal to n minus 2 this is the largest element and a of 2 this is the smallest element now in this case also the difference was 8 now we have the last option that is the fourth option we will try to convert all of these three elements equal to the largest element that is 15 so in this case the largest element will be a of n minus 1 and the smallest element will be a of 3 that is that is 13 so this is our fourth option n minus 1 minus a of 3 so let me try to revisit them so initially what we did after sorting the array we picked up the first three element and then converted them to the last element in that case the minimum element that we are going to have will be at position no I'm actually telling the reverse order so in the very first option that is this option we picked up the last three element that, uh, that is the largest three element and then converted them to the smallest one so the smallest one will remain same that is a of 0 and the largest will now be equal to at, uh, will now be at index n minus 4 because now after n minus 4 all these elements are equal to the smallest element in the second option we picked up two element from the start and we converted them okay in the second option we picked up two element from the end and then converted them to the second smallest element and converted the first element to the second smallest element this way we end up consuming four moves and in this case the smallest element will be at index 1 and the largest element will be at index n minus 3 in the next move we picked up one element from the end and converted it to the third element and converted the initial two element to the third element the smallest element in this case will be third element that is at index 2 and the largest element will be at index n minus 2 and in the last move we picked up the initial three element and then converted them to the largest element in this case the smallest element will be at index 3 and the largest element will remain the same that is at index n minus 1 so these are the four options that we can have and I think in this case the answer was n minus 1 that is 15 minus 13 that is 2 in this case the answer is 2 and this is the correct option but then we will have to calculate each of these options and then return the best among these options so each of this option is going to take a constant time so we can calculate all of them and sorting will take log n time let us try to implement this it is very easy to implement also there is a corner case that we have to handle the corner case is if the size is smaller than or equal to 4 in that case we can pick up any three element and then convert it convert them make them equal to the fourth element that is left and the answer will be 0 in those case so if 
nums dot size is smaller than equal to 4 then we have to simply return 0 in this case in all the other cases we will have to calculate the options so int option 1 will be equal to as I told you it is going to be let me calculate n first n equals to nums dot size and option 1 is a of let me see the options a of n minus 4 and 0 n minus 4 minus a of 0 it is nums similarly we will calculate the rest of the options so it is going to be n minus 3 it is going to be 1 n minus 2 2 n minus 1 and the index 3 this is my option 2 this is my option 3 this is option 4 and then I have to return the minimum among these options before that I have to sort it as well okay now I have to return the minimum so minimum of option 1 comma minimum of option 2 comma minimum of option 3 comma option 4 I hope it returns the correct answer after this we will calculate the space and the time complexity the answer is 0 1 2 1 0 1 2 1 it is giving us correct answer it got accepted now let us discuss the space and the time complexity obviously we see that the space complexity that we are using here is constant because we are just calculating these four options and n that is the size of the nums the time complexity in this case is because of this sort function that we used so this is n log n apart from this these are all constant times so it is n log n the time complexity and the space complexity is constant in this case so if you like these videos please subscribe to the channel please share with your friends and please leave uh, in the comment section as to what suggestions would you like to give me for my future videos thank you